Hey there, thanks so much for joining us for today's Drawing for Adults class brought to you by the Ann Arbor District Library and the Ann Arbor Art Center. Today we're going to be doing a really fun project where it's really loose and expressive and it's part of our landscape series. So you'll be using pastels or crayon, any kind of colored pencil, really anything will work for this. You're going to see that it's going to be really loose and what you're going to want to do first is to just have some kind of photo reference or even just look outside your window and just have something that's kind of simple, not too complex and detailed. So this is just a drawing of um, actually just my friend's backyard. And so what I saw, plus, you know, a little exaggeration. And the idea here is to explore the use of mark making. So that means how you are applying the tool that you're using onto your paper. So for example, you can see how I'm using kind of a scribbly, really aggressive kind of um, mark as I am making all those little trees in the background, those houses, this tree here in the foreground, and even those clouds. I'm not worried so much about representation of really making it look realistic. It's just a matter of kind of getting the idea of the houses in the background, getting the idea that there's some kind of trees or maybe they're mountains off in the distance. Um, so here I'm just building in layers of grass. The other thing that I want you to consider doing is um, using unusual colors. So it's really easy, of course, when you're doing grass to just pick up that green uh, crayon or colored pencil or pastel and to go for something that's more typical and expected. So I want you to try to challenge yourself by maybe even just putting those colors away so that you're not tempted to even grab them so that it gives you this opportunity to use something that's a little bit different and outside of your comfort zone. And then of course, as you're working, try to do this maybe um, with a time constraint. So that's one thing that has helped me really loosen up in terms of just my style uh, and how I create a more abstracted landscape. And that's, yeah, try to just grab, maybe to take your stopwatch or something on your phone and, you know, give yourself, say, maybe start with just like five minutes to kind of get everything done quickly and then kind of loosely sketch out where you're going to go and then you can of course then start honing in on a little bit more details adding more layers of color etc so again we're not worried about everything looking perfect here we're just trying to use a mark on your paper with using your tool that's kind of loose and expressive and then once you have everything kind of layered in with just one layer of I want you to experiment going in with some other colors. So you can see here I'm doing this digitally, so it makes it a little bit of a shortcut just to make the time go a little faster. Um, but obviously you're, you'll be doing this um, by hand, but add more layers of color to make it really exciting and full of energy. And of course, as you're drawing, pay attention to making sure that you have a nice definitive background, right? Those objects in the background are smaller, and then the midground where they're a little bit larger, and then the foreground where they're significantly larger. And you can also really focus on that gradation of color, but the objects in the foreground are also going to be a lot more saturated with color versus the objects in the background that are a little bit duller and lighter. I hope you enjoyed today's video and that you'll tune in with us next time.